This is Twit. Dan Rayburn, writing for Streaming Media Blog. We've had Dan on Twit before. He's a, he's one of the you know most astute observers of the uh, behind-the-scenes stuff that goes on with content creators, content uh, distribution networks, and the big ISPs. Says uh, that Apple has uh, decided to negotiate deals with ISPs for their own content distribution network. Apple has for years used Akamai which is the mm -hmm. king of content distribution. The idea of a content distribution network is the company owns servers close to you, close to uh, your ISP, so that the content comes faster to you. Uh, Apple has, has used Akamai at great expense, I might add. Akamai is not cheap to uh, make it faster and easier to download stuff from iTunes, to watch Netflix on the mm -hmm. Apple TV and, and other stuff. But uh, the idea that Apple might create its own CDN is uh, very interesting. They care about the experience. They care very, yep. very deeply about how good the quality of your iTunes is. And your point, they pay for their own Netflix delivery, which is why Netflix is so good yep. on the Apple TV. And this looks like yep. just a logical extension of that. Apple takes up, according to Sandvine, about 2% of total internet traffic at peak hours. Of course, Netflix is about 34%. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but but I have to say this is this is an interesting example of why Apple is a different kind of company because this is money you spend that is not uh, on a more beautiful store or a more beautiful product or marketing or advertising. This is money you spend on consumer experience, and it is not insignificant. It's a lot of money to do this right. And it's sort of like painting the back of the fence in Steve Jobs lingo because it's not something that's obvious to a lot of people. They'll just notice the quality. You know, you're, you're counting on them to notice the better experience and to associate that with Apple's brand. But you're not, it doesn't give you an advertising advantage or a branding advantage yeah. in copy. Yeah, but it makes people who have Apple TV happy and they don't know why they're happy. By This is why, this is why these interconnect deals are, are kind of hidden because if you get bad Netflix service, you don't blame your internet service provider even though yeah. they might be at fault. You blame Netflix. Uh, Apple, you Apple TV works better. You, I don't know if you're going to say, hey, I, that's my Apple TV. You're just going to say, hey, I really, Netflix is working great right now. It, it's a, it, it's a paint in the back of the fence. I think that's a very apt way to put it. But uh, again, one of the reasons uh, Apple is, uh, is where it is. Uh, Got to support that.